We got another box from Pulse today, and today we've got the Rebels Zeb figure here. Now we're just get, starting to get TVC figures from Rebels. We've got several coming on the way, of course. A lot of this having to do with the upcoming HasLab Ghost that should be shipping to before the end of the year. But here we have Zeb. Uh, he is a deluxe figure. Of course, Zeb is a bigger figure as it is, so maybe he deserves that deluxe. Yeah, we'll take a look. Looks like he comes with two different staffs in there. So let's open him up and check him out. Inside the box, this is what we get. It takes up most of the box. It's not too bad. Although, the, you know, the weapons are fairly flat, but hey. All right, here is Zeb. You can see that face sculpt. I could see them <coughs> reusing this head easily to do him in the pilot gear, as we saw in Mandalorian Season 3. He has two holes on his back to put his staff into. We'll look at that here in a minute. Uh, lots of details you can see, like some striped fur in there. So we've got not only the texture, but some paint. See on the head, lots of different little details. He's got, you know, standard articulation we'd expect from TVC. Um, his belt is an extra rubber piece along the middle. Oh my gosh. You know, when you pull this apart a little bit, it almost makes me think of like O-Ring from G.I. Joe. But it's not quite. But to see that space in there, it's like, whoa. You can see his big feet here. Yeah, I could see them reusing some pieces from this to give us that uh, that Zeb that we saw in Mandalorian. Although I'm kind of, you know, he doesn't have the stuff painted on his shoulder pad that we we see in the in the show. Although I think that's going to be on the the Ghost version. So he comes with his. You can have his staff here. So this is like the extended staff, and we can plug it into those holes right there, so he can. Hold it on his back, see what that looks like. Or he has kind of the folded one here. It's more of the gun or rocket version, however. Oh, there's actually tabs on both sides of it. Look at that. So you can do it however you want. I'm gonna do it like this. There you go, so you can hold it like that. You can see how that fits right across there. I will, will say it's a little odd. He's got those spots in there and yet there's no strap or everything. It just kind of snaps in the armor. Oh. There is a little bit of the paint from Sabine there. I see it now. I didn't see it earlier. It was. It's just a little more muted, but yeah, it's definitely there. Look at that. Okay. The staff here, you can. It actually comes with some a little electronic or a little blast pieces, whatever you want to call them, little purple blast pieces. You can put on there, and we can put him in different poses. Here he is holding his uh, blaster like that. Hold it with both hands. Looks pretty nice on there. So now he can look like he's playing guitar with a staff, right? Okay, <laughs> there he is holding his staff. You can see what that looks like. It's a pretty cool figure. All in all, I like it. Got some good details on it. It's a good look at that face again. Uh, nice figure. It um, seems to be worthy of deluxe. It's a pretty beefy, bigger figure. Comes with two different accessories and that. So not a lot of accessories necessarily, but it is a bigger figure. Get an idea. Here's the latest TVC Leia. You can see she only goes up to his shoulder. So kind of gives you an idea right there.